Romance may be one of the most beloved genres on the silver screen, but it is often a boy-meets-girl dynamic. Granted, homosexual love has been a subgenre amongst cinephiles for many a decade, though with the public recognition of Brokeback Mountain and Milk, it seemed like female same-sex characters were stuck warming the benches. That's why today we're looking at the greatest lesbian couple cinema has ever seen. Number 10. Carol and Therese Based on the book by female author Patricia Highsmith, most known for her stories of one Tom Ripley, this romantic period drama chronicles the forbidden love affair between an aspiring photographer and an older woman going through a divorce. Kate Blanchett delivered an enchanting performance as socialite Carol, whereas Rooney Mara's innocent, subdued Therese makes for a compelling chemistry. The backdrop of 1950 society already makes for high stakes in this romantic tale, but the taboos of cross-class love and a significant age gap only make their bond stronger for overcoming so many more obstacles. Number 9. Esty and Ronit Sticking with the theme of cultural taboos, Disobedience sees two women facing public shame and scrutiny from their strict Orthodox Jewish community. Rachel Weiss plays Ronit Kushka, a daughter excommunicated for her feelings towards a female friend during her youth, with the aforementioned love interest played by Rachel McAdams. With these two powerhouses front and center, you know the film is going to have intense, dramatic performances. And with this backdrop of strict cultural codes, especially towards women, you know upending their community's codes of conduct will come at a high price. Number 8. Marianne and Eloise By now, you've probably started figuring out that conservative societies with oppressive attitudes towards women and homosexuality make dramatic backdrops for lesbian love stories. So it's good to see Portrait of a Lady on Fire sticking with that trend by transporting us to 18th century France. You might be forgiven for expecting the sexually open country of baguettes and cheese to have been less prickly towards same-sex attraction, but even back then, things weren't easy. Story-wise, one of the women is due to be married to a nobleman. Now, the secret love affair between Marianne and Eloise has a ticking clock. So, throw in a covert abortion subplot and a woman director, and it's fair to say you have ticked enough boxes to pass the Bechtel test twice over. Number 7. Adele and Emma Before Lea Seydoux was chasing James Bond, she was chasing Adele Exarchopoulos. If you've not seen this three-hour French movie about a modern-day couple, then you really owe it to yourself to watch this gripping story of love and heartbreak. By throwing off many of the tropes of homosexual stories, such as an oppressive time and place and closeted identities, we instead see their love blossom during a time of open society, pride parades, and spaghetti dinners with each other's parents. Also, we see a lot of sex scenes. Like, a lot. But more importantly, we see the ups and downs of a relatable love story unfold in front of your very eyes, all the way to its heart-wrenching conclusion. Number 6. Rita and Betty What better way to capture the mysteries and absurdities of love than in David Lynch's surrealist masterpiece? Set in Los Angeles, aspiring actress Betty Elms, in a lauded performance by Naomi Watts, falls in love with a car crash victim suffering from amnesia, captured by Laura Herring. Without giving too much away, not that it's really possible to explain a David Lynch film, there's a love triangle, a cowboy, and some tiny old people in a tiny old box. But despite all the craziness, what stands out for many is the enchanting relationship between the two lead actresses and their cryptic, tangled love life. Number 5. Nina and Lily Now for something completely different, where the world of ballet sees rivals become lovers and lovers become rivals as dancers compete to be top dog. Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis might be the ideal pairing for any teenage boy, but in fact, their on-screen chemistry is a testament to their calculating game plans and conflicting admiration for each other. Strictly speaking, their same-sex entanglement is not at the forefront of the story, but it does create some delightful obstacles on the road to power and fame. Number 4. Pauline Parker and Juliet Whom Peter Jackson's true crime caper was more than the film debuts of Kate Winslet and Melanie Linsky. It was an in-your-face, Bonnie and Clyde-style lesbian love story filled with twists, turns, and murder. 
based on the notorious crime in 1954, where a mother was slain by her own daughter and the daughter's best friend, this early Jackson film proves he was the best director to capture the delusional, paranoid world of these two young troubled teens. Admittedly, there is some debate as to whether or not the young anti-heroines were indeed lesbians. But nonetheless, this cold-blooded presentation marked a momentous turn for the depiction of female homosexuals in cinema. Number 3. Aileen and Selby Staying once more with true crime stories, Charlize Theron uglied up for an Oscar-winning performance as real-life serial killer Aileen Warnos. Christina Ricci is also alongside her as the young love interest and sidekick, Selby, as the two embark on a road movie, evading the law and trying to turn their lives around. But there is nothing in the way of lipstick lesbians in this movie. There were no stolen kisses behind the bushes, hushed confessions of burning love, or frilly period frocks to prance in. This is butch and gritty, and so quickly stood out as an unconventional lesbian couple to say the least. Number 2. Cynthia and Evelyn Is this a fantasy setting? Is this the real world? It's hard to tell exactly where we are in Peter Strickland's movie about bug catching and power dynamics, but either way, it's fair to say we are on new territory. The Duke of Burgundy chronicles the mind games between a couple in a powerful love affair, where the dominant one is pushed around and the subordinate is actually holding all the cards. This simple flip creates a film unlike any other, in a fascinating universe filled exclusively with female insect enthusiasts. But despite all the butterflies and scenes of romantic experimentation, the film is more than the sum of its parts, and the lesbian couple becomes an inseparable part of this film tapestry, much like the stunning scales of a butterfly's wings. Our number one pick is... Brandon Tina and Lana Tisdale. When it comes to being ahead of the curve and still being relevant, we have the heartbreaking true-life adaption of two female lovers where one's gender dysphoria creates conflict and pain all around them. Hilary Swank's performance as Brandon Tina landed her an Oscar in 2000, with Chloe Sevigny getting a nomination for her role as Lana. As you'd expect, the relationship between the two leads runs into a philosophic quagmire as to whether Brandon's gender identity changes Brandon's sexuality. So the added layer of complexity means this couple will be playing on the mind of the audience well after the film has concluded. It's hard to imagine that a film about trans identity made such a splash so long ago, which is why this depiction of female-to-female -female attraction deserves the top spot. But what do you think? Did we miss someone or does another duo deserve the top spot? Let us know in the comments. Leave a like in the link if you think it's about time lesbians became protagonists and be sure to share this with any cinephile you know. Lastly, hit subscribe and that notification bell so you can be the first to check out our next video.